What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's Tyler and Mike, and this basketball video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. It was a one-night extravaganza. Long Beach Poly taking on St. John Bosco at Modern Day at the Nike Extravaganza. Rashawn Prince and the Jackrabbits hoping to make a splash here in a big pre-playoff tune-up. Uh, they're ready to go, Tyler. A, a budding rivalry between these schools, let's just say Daniel Hamilton, the only Hamilton brother playing in this game, interestingly, and Tyler Dorsey, big-time scorer for the Braves. And that is the way you come out in a showcase with the kicks and the socks. And Bosco getting the first bucket on an oop looking lively, but Polly would answer with Prince. Jordan Bell saves it, the and one for Rashawn Prince, and uh, oh, oh my, as soon as you see that steal, you know something special is going to happen, and yeah! It got real. The crowd immediately buzzing after that one. Not necessarily the best service, but Ropey still able to put it down with one hand. Uh, those two obviously loving that teamwork. Rashawn had Polly's first seven points working the offensive class, but Dorsey on the other end, more than just a great first name, Mike. Uh, yeah, definitely showing off his offensive skills. Polly rebounding the story of the first quarter, though. Jordan Bell with the putback. Polly had eight offensive boards in the first quarter. In the second, former Bosco Brave Cam Morell got hot in that second. A couple of threes right here. He had nine points in that second eight minutes, getting a chance to play against his former teammates, the Bosco transfer. And uh, passing out of the collapsing zone, K.J. Fagan's open. He knocked it down. That duo was six of nine from beyond the arc in this game. Darian Williams for three. He and Daniel Hamilton keeping the Braves close, as you see Dan Ham or D Ham or whatever kind of ham you want to say, going and getting two right there. It's just 23-21 at the half. Bosco did a good job not letting Polly get too far away, and the third, just a seesaw battle. Back and forth. Dorsey, KJ, Nebo, Brian Nebo with the layup, then uh, the mash from Jordan Bell. A total seesaw in the third, Mike. The first 12 buckets were back and forth from each team. Nobody scored consecutive buckets until 12 field goals had been made. Unbelievable. Crazy. Row P with the and one, the toughness there, and Jordan Bell scoring again. But Polly just couldn't pull away because Bosco was finding Nebo again. He had nine points. As you can see, these teams really jostling one another. But again, the three-pointers were big for Polly. Fagan, and then swinging it on the perimeter, Cam Morrell, three of his 14 points off the bench. Probably just six of 18 from three as a team, but those two were huge. This Williams three keeps the Braves in it. Jack Rabbits just could not shake St. John Bosco, and it's just 40 to 36 after three quarters. The Braves were down to keep this one close, and starting the fourth quarter, aggressively taking it to the 10, got them to the line as Nebo's going to step up, cut the lead down to just one with that free throw, and then one of the crazier plays. I mean, that's <laughs> an oop and a sort of a dunk, but more of a layup. Crazy. And then, of course, Dorsey on the other end, 24 points to lead all scores. Row P, though, Mike, uh, the takeover attacking the rim. Yeah, Prince knows when it's winning time. Once they get into that fourth quarter, he is going to go after the rim. That's what he does. But Bosco able to hang within two scores until the play of the night. Oh, the oop de ville for Jordan Bell. Oop doggy dog. Let's take a couple more looks at that. Bang, 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 and in slow-mo, the elevation, the authority, it was all there for Deuce and obviously what the people came and paid for. Yeah, he says he likes to make plays like that to get his team excited. Uh, these don't get people excited, but they do win games. Rashawn Prince getting to the free throw line. He was 6 of 6 in the fourth, made two one and ones uh, which was really big. Polly scored their final 11 points at the free throw line and went 12 of 14 in the fourth quarter as a team. And, I mean, that's what wins games, and that's what won this one. That's what helped them close it out. Jordan Bell with 15 points and 8 boards. Rashawn Prince, 19 and 12. It's not always sexy when you just make free throws at the end, <laughs> but, hey, Polly got the win. It certainly was a difference in this game. This highlight brought to you by, in part by McCarty's Jewelry, here for you since 1932. And we've got a long way still to go with these Jackrabbits. We enter the final week of the Moore League season, but you know right around the corner from that is the CIF playoffs. Playoffs? Of course, keep it right here for the bracket release updates. And, of course, playoff previews, videos, highlights, photos, everything you could want. We got you covered, Long Beach.